Hi, I'm Treasurer Dennis Milligan. I'd like to welcome our Kansans to our office in the state capitol to view the new Arkansas Military Veterans Hall of Fame that was recently unveiled. Thank you to our nation's finest, both past and present, who have fought for the freedoms we all enjoy today. Fifty years ago, an American Marine fought with unmatched bravery in one of the longest and bloodiest battles of the Vietnam War, the Battle of Way City. The name of that heroic Marine is Sergeant Major John Canley. Today, we proudly award John the Congressional Medal of Honor. Sergeant Major John Canley was born in Caledonia, Arkansas. In 1953, at the age of 15, John used his brother's paperwork to enlist in the United States Marines. John served in South Korea and Japan before shipping out to Vietnam for more than five years of intense combat. On January 30th, 1968, Vietnamese families gathered to celebrate the Lunar New Year, known as Tet. In the midst of the celebration, thousands of North Vietnamese communists launched surprise attacks all over and throughout the country. This became known as the Tet Offensive. Incredible privilege to present Sergeant Major John Canley with the Congressional Medal of Honor. And I would like to ask the military aide to come forward and read the citation. Thank you. The President of the United States, in the name of Congress, takes pleasure in awarding the Congressional Medal of Honor to Gunnery Sergeant John L. Canley, United States Marine Corps, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty in action against the enemy while serving as Company Gunnery Sergeant, Alpha Company, 1st Battalion, 1st Marines, 1st Marine Division, from 31 January to 6 February 1968 in the Republic of Vietnam. Alpha Company fought off multiple vicious attacks as it rapidly moved along the highway toward Way City to relieve friendly forces that were surrounded by the enemy. Despite being wounded in these engagements, Gunnery Sergeant Canley repeatedly rushed across fire-swept terrain to carry his wounded Marines to safety. After his commanding officer was severely wounded, Gunnery Sergeant Canley took command and led the company into Way City. At Way City, caught in deadly crossfire from enemy machine gun positions, he set up a base of fire and maneuvered with a platoon in a flanking attack that eliminated several enemy positions. Retaining command of the company for three days, he led attacks against multiple enemy fortified positions while routinely braving enemy fire to carry wounded Marines to safety. On 4 February, he led a group of Marines into an enemy-occupied building in Way City. He moved into the open to draw fire, located the enemy, eliminated the threat, and expanded the company's hold on the building room by room. Gunnery Sergeant Canley then gained position above the enemy strong point and dropped in a large satchel charge that forced the enemy to withdraw. On 6 February, during a fierce firefight at a hospital compound, Gunnery Sergeant Canley twice scaled a wall in full view of the enemy to carry wounded Marines to safety. By his undaunted courage, selfless sacrifice, and unwavering devotion to duty, Gunnery Sergeant Canley reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. 